Welcome back. In today's video, you will see how to combine multiple PDF documents into a huge big document. I will be using Adobe Creative Cloud and I will also show you how to do these operations absolutely free using Adobe online tools. So without a further ado, let's go ahead and learn everything about combining PDF documents. Hey, my name is Bhavani Kola. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, this channel is all about educational tools, tips, and technology. So if you don't want to miss out on all the fun, please make sure you subscribe. So here I'm on my desktop. My goal here is to go ahead and combine my chapter 11 and 12 worksheets so I don't have to print multiple worksheets for my students. To do that, I am going to click on Adobe Acrobat. And once I'm here, please keep in mind, I do have a Creative Cloud account and I'm signed into my account. Now let's go ahead and click on Combine Files. That's all the way on the top. I have an option to add files from all the way up here or the bottom here. So let me click on Add Files. Let me pick one file using this option. Make sure you locate where your file is. Go ahead, open it. Now let's go back up here and add another file using Add Files on the top. It's the same interface. It's still asking you to locate your file. And let's go ahead and open. Once you're here, you have an option to rearrange your files. Let's say chapter 12 comes first. Change my mind, chapter 11 comes first. If you accidentally added another file, you can always go ahead and delete, go back, Add your files and add the right file. And here in options, make sure you pick the right file size. If you're emailing someone, you might want to go ahead and use a smaller file size. If you're printing, you want to go ahead and keep the default size. Or if you have a lot of pictures in your PDF, then maybe you want to keep a larger file size. But I highly recommend checking always enable accessibility reflow always add bookmarks just in case you want to combine having bookmarks is always good and continue combining if any errors occur but i suggest do not clicking always delete source files after combining because if you do that just in case you added or combined wrong files you will not have your source or your original file to go back and extract or do what you have to that becomes a hassle so do not check this but if you know exactly what you're doing it's totally your call i never do that because i always want to go back and have my source file saved once that's done click ok and once you're happy, you can always see what your files are. See, that's you can open, you can compress and expand. And if you click on this option, you can actually see what your files are. Let's go back. And once I'm done, all I have to do is click combine. And here I have my 18 page PDF combined for me. And once you're happy with what you have, you can always go ahead and save it. But let's just say you want to add more. All you have to do is click on more options here and click on combine files. And then it's the same process. So let's close this. Once you're done, now let's go ahead and save it. I'm going to click on these three ellipses. I'm going to click save as. I'm going to save it on my desktop. I'm going to name it as combine and click save. Once I saved it, let's go back and here is my combined PDF and I have all my 18 pages right here. Now let's go ahead and see how we can combine the PDF documents for absolutely free with a trusted website. So here I am on Adobe Online Tools. All I have to do is click on Merge PDF. And as you can see, I am not signed in, but I can still merge my files right here. To do that, I'm going to go ahead and click on Merge PDF. And once I'm here, all I have to do is click on Select Files. And let me go ahead and locate my file. It is chapter 11 and 12. I'm going to pick both the files and I'm going to click Open. And here Adobe is working relentlessly in the back to combine my files. I do have an option to rearrange them. Let's just say I want chapter 12 before. All right, chapter 11 before chapter 12, I can rearrange them. If you decide this is the wrong file, all you have to do is click and delete it. I'm not going to do that. You can add more than two files by just clicking and adding wherever you want another document. I'm going to click chapter 11. And as you can see, I have chapter 11, chapter 12 and chapter 11. And all I have to do is click on merge and Adobe is merging my documents for me. Now let's just see what happens. I'm going to click close. And here I have my merge document with chapter 11, chapter 12, and chapter 
11 again and it's asking me to download and keep in mind this is a trusted website it clearly says sign in to save your files or it will be deleted from our servers to respect your privacy and all you have to do is click download and you have your merged file I hope you enjoyed the session. I hope you learn how to combine multiple PDF documents into one using Adobe Creative Cloud and online Adobe tools. I will be making more videos on how to edit, how to delete, how to reorganize, how to insert web pages, images, blank pages, change the colors of your PDF documents and much more. So stay tuned and do not forget to subscribe. I will leave a link in the description box below for Microsoft Teams, Technology, Canvas and PowerPoint playlist. And do comment in the comment section below. Tell me what tool do you use to combine your PDF documents? Like always, happy teaching and please take care of yourself.